Good day to you all. My name is Taba Makobe, the founder of Technology for All Academy. It has come to my attention how much people struggle to use the SIRA portal. And most people don't know which steps to take when they experience problems with their SIRA certificate or accreditation. As Technology for All Academy, we have decided to make a series in which we will teach people how to use the SIRA portal and also show them steps to take when they experience problems with their SIRA certificate or accreditations. In this lesson, our focus will be on SIRA verification. I'm going to show you two methods in which you can see your grades on SIRA. Without wasting time, let me open my Google Chrome. On your URL, you type www dot sira dot co dot za and then you press enter so that you can access the sira website inside the sira website just scroll down and online service menu go and click on individual verifications to open sira registration portal page on this page under the id number go ahead and type in your id number now let me type the ID number. When you are done typing your ID number, click on search button so that you can search for your grade. And then as you can see under certificate status it says renewed and the grade is D. But I know that my client, his highest grade that he did is grade C. So in order to check his training records, I'll click again on the SIRA website. And then under online services again, I'll click on SSP online registration. And on this page, you go to login and click on login so that you can log in. I know some of us may be using username and password to log in and some prefer to use OTP to log in. So in this stage, you use your preferred login method. Okay, let me click on login and under login. I'm going to use username and password inside the registration portal as we can see it says your security officer grade is D so in order for me to see the training records I'll click on view profile and on the menu that appears I'll go to training records and as we can see my client have grade E grade D and grade C but the grade C you can see that cause report status it's still pending and then when it gets approved his grade will be upgraded to grade C so what happens if you have registered on the portal but you have not yet gone to Sira to finish the registration well there's no transmesh okay let me log out so that I can log in with the credential of one of my client who hasn't finished this registration as you can see here it says in order to proceed further please complete your personal details and complete your profile so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on complete your profile and on the menu that appears i'll go again to training records and if your security training center has submitted your grades they should be appearing here under training records as you can see my client has grade E, D and C already submitted but if you click on training records and there's nothing submitted it will mean that maybe there's a problem on SIRA site or maybe your training center has not submitted your training records so what you can do is to go to your training center and address the matter with them. And if the problem is on the SIRA site, your training center will follow it up with SIRA so that they can correct their mistakes. And also if the problem is with your training center, maybe they have not submitted your training records, then they will need to submit your training records so that your training records will appear on your profile and SIRA will be able to process your SIRA certificate or accreditation. I hope this lesson was beneficial and informative. And if you benefited from this lesson, please share with those you think will also benefit from this lesson. 
and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you can be notified whenever we drop another lesson and if you have comments or questions please don't hesitate to leave them on our channel we will get back to you as soon as possible love and leave you have a blessed day thank you